It's Monday, April 8th, and from WBHM News, I'm Richard Banks with today's top stories. Birmingham Mayor Randall Woodfin continues to come under pressure following a cyber attack that has disrupted the city's computer network. D'Angelo Hall is the president of Birmingham's chapter of the Fraternal Order of Police. AL.com reports he wrote a letter to Woodfin late last week saying significant concerns have been presented regarding the city's lack of transparency in the handling of the cyber attack. Hall says employees have complained they are not being fully compensated or being paid at all. The attack has also disrupted various police operations, such as the ability to check for outstanding warrants. The attack is believed to have begun in early March. City officials say emergency operations remain functional. U.S. Representative from Alabama Mike Rogers says he backs funding for Ukraine in its defense against a Russian invasion. Rogers, a Republican from Northeast Alabama who chairs the U.S. House Armed Services Committee, spoke to the Montgomery Chamber of Commerce late last week. The Alabama Reflector reports Rogers says that if Russian President Vladimir Putin were to take Ukraine, he would move on to invade other countries, possibly members of NATO. He says that would require every other member of NATO to come to their defense. In a break from the far right wing of the GOP, Rogers went on to say that the U.S. does not, quote, have a choice to walk away. And this year's Atlantic hurricane season is forecast to be one of the busiest on record. The preseason forecast was issued by Colorado State University late last week. It calls for 11 hurricanes and five Category 3 or higher major hurricanes for the 2024 season, which runs June through November. Previously, the most active preseason forecast called for nine hurricanes. While such early forecasts often change, researchers say they have above normal confidence for this year. That's in part because of record warm water temperatures in the Atlantic caused by climate change. Also, a weather phenomenon called La Nina is expected to develop and increase conditions favorable to hurricane formation. You'll find more news anytime at WBHM.org.